Hello and welcome back to Morocco from Casablanca, the largest city in this country. And in this video, I'm going to be exploring, wandering around, passing a few of the sites and soaking in what is arguably the best representation of modern Moroccan life. And at the moment, I'm in downtown, which is a mix of 20th century French colonial buildings, but also more modern Moroccan architecture as well. As the largest city and economic hub of Morocco, Casablanca is more concerned with business than it is with tourism. And so there aren't as many attractions here. In fact, nowhere near as many attractions or touristy things to see as there are in Marrakesh, Fez, Tangier, you name it, all over the country. Uh, but it does have a Medina. And I'm gonna walk through downtown right now in order to reach the Medina. So as I said, one thing in the downtown part of Casablanca that is to be appreciated is all this French-inspired architecture. It's really nice. And a lot of office buildings and people working around here. And essentially the heartbeat of Morocco's economy it is worth coming to Casablanca just for a day or two to see what the modern side of Morocco is like away from the medinas and souks and touristy places. Cafes with seats outside very much showing the impact of the French colonial legacy here in Morocco where you can stop and have your espresso Bonjour. Cinema Rialto here has been showing films since 1929 and being the setting of the Hollywood classic Casablanca, you can understand why there is a connection with the old world of the film industry here and a romanticized image of Morocco and Casablanca that was created by that film. Popping into the central marketplace. So wandering around the central marketplace, I made sure to stop and have lunch at the busiest place, the one that's the most popular with locals. And I have a chicken couscous here, which looks so delicious. And I think I tried couscous in one of my videos that was lost on the GoPro. So here we are in Casablanca at a local place, uh, digging into the classic North African slash Moroccan dish. So coming from downtown, I have entered into Casablanca's 19th century Medina and although it doesn't hold the same grandeur as Fez and Marrakesh it is still worth a little look in it's also a good connecting point if you want an interesting walk to go from downtown to the Hassan mosque which is where I'm eventually going to reach once I make my way through the Medina here. The Spanish who came to trade here before the French named the city Casablanca, White House, 
I don't know if there's any connection with these white buildings or not. Most of these are post-Spanish trade, I think, but still. This was a key point linking the port of Casablanca to Europe and beyond. This is where merchants would have traded their goods. Quite a scene there as I made my way through more of the Medina. It's Friday today and that was the afternoon prayer time I was walking through. So many men bringing their own mats to pray outside one of the mosques in the middle of the Medina. But I'm heading to an even grander one. I have just arrived at the Hassan II Mosque as the prayer time was ending and there are just thousands of people right now streaming out after finishing the prayer, hearing the recitations from the minaret as I was approaching was truly magical and this has to be one of the most impressive mosques I've ever seen. Perhaps it's one of the best modern mosques in the world, along with the one in Abu Dhabi. So from the Hassan II Mosque, I have jumped in a taxi and made my way here to Quartier Habus, which is another old area, not very old, but a hundred years or so, I think. I need to clarify that information. But I tried to go in the mosque and unfortunately, I wasn't able to enter with my tripod and film inside and also you have to join up as part of a one hour tour which I didn't really want to do, it's the only way to get into the mosque. Many mosques in Morocco actually do not permit non-Muslims to enter and so there are only two well-known mosques in Morocco that do so and the Hassan II Mosque is one of them. I still recommend that you go inside just because I didn't doesn't mean it's not worth going in. In fact, it's very spectacular. Take a look at some of the pictures of the inside that I'm stealing from Google right here. If you haven't been to many mosques and Morocco is one of your first Islamic countries, you can see here exactly why it's a good reason to go in and have a look. So this here is a pretty area of Casablanca. It's very close to the old royal palace and the green tiled rooftops remind me a little bit of Fez. After the uh, heavy couscous earlier, I've just come to a shawarma place to pick up a double one with uh, some fries inside as I don't need something very large for, yeah. He's saying it's Alibaba, that's the name of this one, if you want to have the best shawarma in Casablanca. Well, it says Alibaba Morocco. <laughs> Finish the shawarma, and it's funny because a few guys at that shawarma place all wanted selfies with me, and that's not something you'll get in Fez or Marrakesh, only in some random neighborhood of Casablanca where they don't seem that many uh, 
foreigners wandering around. Casablanca isn't very much of a touristy city. I'm now heading to a famous patisserie to try um, some local uh, desserts, which you might find interesting. This area has very much surprised me in a positive way. It has a lot of character, but it's also quiet, unlike downtown, which is a little bit overwhelming at times. Here we are, this is the famous patisserie. It's a bit late in the day on a Friday, so I'm not sure how it's going to be. So this beautiful little patisserie dates back to 1936. And I'm going to try this one here, which is a Maghrebi dessert. And it has almond paste in the middle. It reminds me a little bit of marzipan, the flavor. You can see the inside there with the flowery interior. Mm. Really good. I enjoyed them so much that I wanted to buy a few to take home with me because they're so unique and good. But they let me have them for free and I insisted to pay, but they wouldn't let me leave without uh, taking them for, for nothing. So uh, really nice hospitality, the people in there are so friendly. It's worth a visit if you're in Casablanca and you want to try some local Moroccan desserts. So I hopped in a taxi and I'm now back here at my hotel, Hotel Paris. I like the fact that there's not much hustling here. It's a lot more kind of laid back while being frenetic with the traffic and people and big buildings. But at the same time, it feels like a slower pace because there's not as much to see. You just sort of wander around and observe what's here. Also losing my GoPro here in Morocco, not being able to fully release the whole series because of the videos from the Atlas Mountains that I lost, which was a shame. But I still really enjoyed my time here in Marrakesh, in Fez, and also that trip to the mountains, of course. And then finally here in Casablanca, I'd like to return one day. I'd like to go down to Western Sahara. I'd like to see Mekinez, Agadir, Tangia. There's so much more here and even a Sahara trip perhaps. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next one. Cheers.